Hello guys, my name is Puspendra Saini. Once again, I came with a very interesting tutorial and this tutorial I am making on the demand of Nishant Narola. So, he is asking like, he has two text fields at the very top of the screen and one button at the very bottom of the screen. So, he would like to scroll this button upside when keyboard appear and when keyboard disappear, then he would like to show this button at to the bottom of the screen again. Okay, today in this tutorial I will cover these things and right now you can see this screen. Right now I did not set any constraint to this screen because I will show you into the video. Okay, how you have to how you have to adjust your constraint in this screen. Okay, so let's begin with development and understand the complete flow. So guys, this is my screen here. It is my main storyboard and here I have just take one view. This is my parent view. Okay and this text field two text field and one button at the very bottom so right now i'm going to set all the constraint of this screen so first of all i will set all the constraint to my view and in this view i will set the constraint from right left top bottom zero zero so it will be so it cover complete screen okay so i have set all the constraint from right left top bottom now I will set the constraint to my text text field so here select your text field and give the proper constraint like I want to give height uh, margin from top side is 20 and 20 from left 20 from right okay and 20 from bottom and I would like to give the height of this uh, text field as we can say 50 so this is my one text field now this is my second text field i will set the same constraint we have already set the top constraint so in this we don't require top constraint okay i will set the right left and bottom also not require okay and 50 is here so this is my second text field let's say this is email address and we can say this is mobile um, no, this is password okay now I have this button I will set all the constraint to this button from bottom we can say it's 20 right 20 left 20 and height we can say 50 okay so add four constraint to this button now if you will see the output then you can see it's adjusting according to our constraint now if keyboard will appear click on continue here you can see button is not coming upside so what we have to do for that i will show you into the coding okay so what we have to do i will set all the outlets first of all because we have to work on the keyboard only so i will set all the outlet all the required outlet in my view controller file so i'll open my view controller file and from here i'll set select button and button bottom constraint okay i will take this constraint okay so this is my button bottom constraint in very simple way i am telling you okay so open your view controller i have already explained the a notification center in my previous video and in this video I'm go also going to tell you how you have to use notification center for keyboard appear and keyboard disappear so type notification center dot default dot add observer okay observer we will add to this one self selector we will give the selector with has and notif first we will give the notification name okay so ui responder dot keyboard will show okay and object nil so for a simple way i will copy this one and i will give the function name to same now i will create object c function at obj c function and same name I am giving okay so this is my function name 
the selector is actually called as function name okay you can give anything but in simple way i give this what we are working on that okay so that we can navigate now the second notification for notification will hide okay hide keyboard so this is for hide copy and paste the same thing and this is same and this will be hide so in this tutorial i'll take the dynamic height of the keyboard okay so for that what we have to do i'll pass notification same for bottom function and first of all i'll see that it is working or not once keyboard appear then self dot button bottom constraint dot constant equals let's say right now it is 20 so i would like to make this 300 okay and again back to 20 once it's disappeared so we'll see that it's working or not open keyboard here you can see it's working but it's not working as expected okay so and one more thing we have to integrate we have to integrate the uh, hide listener for this button so that on top of this view we can hide this keyboard so for that what we have to do nothing more just a simple let tap gesture this is same target is self and selector here will give the selector and we say that dismiss keyboard okay so i'll create this same way at objc function here self dot view dot and editing true and here two more things tap dot cancel it will be function this is fine now tap dot cancel touches in view false and self dot view dot add sorry add gesture recognizer here i will pass tap now again i will see the output now this time if i click anywhere on the view then my keyboard should disappear so here you can see button is also hiding so in more attractive way what we can do with it here i'll make it if let frame equals notification dot user info and this will be optional with array and here i'll pass ui responder dot keyboard frame frame and user info key okay so and this will be as ns value okay so inside that i'll give the height of the keyboard so first fix it yes it is here and frame now let height equals frame dot cz rect dot height so this height we have to plus into the existing okay so our total height will be control x our actual height is 20 okay means x actual margin from the bottom is 20 now i'll i will add plus height in that okay and same thing we will do for hide here we will do minus okay that's it now we will see the output is working or not yeah here you can see it's working fine okay so 
here we can remove this 20 because it's not required 20 already we have given and again we are adding 20 to that so just remove and now we will see the output again here you can see the output is perfect and if you want to remove this space then you can do one more thing height minus 20 so many more thing you can do here so if you would like to give some animation so here I'll write one more line UI view dot animate and here we'll give the donate duration and this duration is in second so I'll give half of the set a second for animation and I'll pass this button here okay and I'll type one more line self dot view dot layout if needed okay the same thing we have to write here and with this line I'll replace this one okay so now if you will see the output then it should work as expect so it's appearing with animation okay so guys I think it's working as expected and, and as you know I have created this video on the demand of one of my YouTube viewer so if you have any requirement please comment into the comment box and I will make the video on that thank you so much for watching this video and one more thing I would like to tell you please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel because on my YouTube channel you will find lots of video which is related to Swift development and that YouTube channel you will find a lots of lots of video like UI search bar country picker OTP screen login screen mobile screen too much videos you will find in a very simple way in a very practically way so please subscribe this channel and keep watching the videos thank you so much have a great day